Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to convert some time formats in Google Sheets into a text-friendly version. So I had occasion to do this recently where I had a number of video titles along with their times, and I wanted to display their time in just kind of an estimated text format, but it caused an issue, and then a solution came from that. So here's how we can think about this. Let me go ahead and just take one of these cells, and I'll have it equal to the time cell. Oh, sure, we'll do an autofill. That's a neat new feature. Okay, now I'm going to take this cell and I want to format it as regular text. There it is, plain text. Now notice when this numeric value is formatted as text, we see the time not in the hours, minutes, seconds format. We see it in this large decimal format, which, yeah, that's true. And that's kind of unfortunate. And this was forced because I was using this time information in a concatenation, which automatically converted it to text. So it's okay. Well, let's let's work with this. Well, instead of having the data display like this, let's have it just kind of round to a nice, easy to read number of minutes. Now, this number seems a little bit weird. However, check this out. If I take this number and multiply it by 1440, that's going to tell me how many minutes that time, that amount of time is. So for instance, 7 minutes and 23 seconds is 7.38 minutes. 8 minutes, 19 seconds, 8.31 minutes. This would be a little bit easier to understand if I actually had a 30 on here. So I'll change this one to 30. There we go. 8 minutes and 30 seconds is 8.5 minutes. So basically by multiplying that time value by 1440, lets us convert it to a decimal version of minutes. Where am I getting that 1440, by the way? Let's pop open the old calculator. 24 hours a day times 60 minutes per hour equals 1440. There we go. So now that we have this, okay, let's customize it a little bit. And let's use the round function. So I'm going to round this product and I'm going to round it to the whole number, so I'm going to round it to the zeros place. And now there we go, 7 minutes and 23 seconds, rounds to 7. And we'll get the nice rounded number. So now that I've got this information in minutes, I can incorporate it into a concatenation. I'm going to select the entire round function, except for that equal sign, Control c to copy. And I'm going to rewrite this here as a concatenate, because I want to concatenate multiple strings. And let's see. I'm going to put in a par opening parentheses in quotes, comma, and then control V is in Victor to paste. That's going to put my number of minutes, comma, and then quote space, the word minutes, closing parentheses, quotation, and then a closing parentheses, which is going to finish off my concatenate function. So basically, when I press enter, you'll see that I'm displaying this time as a more text-friendly display. 7 minutes and 23 seconds, yeah, 7 minutes. 8 minutes and 30 seconds, 9 minutes, and so forth. Now I can more easily use this information into a text string if I was going to create a sentence or if I was going to ultimately do a mail merge of information. So there we go. By converting that time into a text string number, which is basically what we did by multiplying the time by 1440, we could easily incorporate it into a concatenate function. Thanks for hanging out with me.